looking up to taller quarterbacks? I mean, that doesn't happen too often, does it? It happens to you all your life, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> you set yourself up. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Peyton Manning doing short people jokes uh, during uh, at the OTA session yesterday. His first session, by the way, all reports, he was zipping the ball around. He looked very good. Last season, the Denver Broncos won nine football games, eight in the regular season, one in the playoffs. Plus or minus in terms of wins, gentlemen, how much better or worse will the Broncos be with Peyton in Tebow's place? Stephen, I go. What? Go, let the T-ball bastard go that, first. What now, but stop. Don't, don't, you know, don't add to the negative connotations, okay? Stop being an instigator, you troublemaker. I believe a minimum of two games, possibly three. We're talking about an 11-5 record during the regular season. Uh, playoff matchup, that would depend on who they end up playing. But I definitely think they'll be three games better, two to three games better. I definitely believe that their running game won't be as effective because they actually have somebody who can throw the football now. So the receivers, will, the Eric Deckers of the world, the Demarius Thomases of the world and others, Brandon Lloyds of the world and others, they will benefit from the arrival of uh, Peyton Manning. Uh, they will be more proficient offensively. As a result, they will be more proficient defensively because they won't be on the field all the time. And I think they will benefit from that as well. But I don't know how okay. far they'll go in the playoffs. Have to wait and see who the matchups are. Well, come on. Put your money where your mouth is. Go ahead. No, You, you no. need two. No, not you, at all. You need two If they, end up, if they end up playing, if they ended up playing the, the Baltimore Ravens or first or the New England Patriots, I'm not falling oh, for that so trap. You're hedging I'm your telling bets. you that they're okay. good. I'm not hedging it. I'm not hedging yeah. it. I think, of, I, I, I think anybody outside of a Pop Warner League could be better than their offense was last year. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that. Well, 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 hold on. The Pop Warner <laughs> offense swept the AFC West on the road, won the AFC Seven. West outright, beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in a playoff game, and got to yeah, the second round thing. of the playoffs. So, or is that what you're yeah, going to say? You I want you on the record, record paying to win two you know, playoff you know, games. Hold on. Since, 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 once again, since once again, we want to, since once again, we want to sit there and revisit and engage in revisionist history. All he does is win. Oh, all he does is win games. It happens. It's right? history. Let me, it's not let me revisionist. Tell you Here's it the deal. History. Here's the deal. It's real. Here's it the happens. deal. He also lost four of his last five. We forgot that. That's why we almost yeah. forgot about Steve, DJ Steve Porter, because we couldn't play the daggone video because they lost four of their last five. You almost yeah, blew it for them. You almost blew the one before. That's what you almost did. Whatever. They yeah. got stopped. They got beat down by Tom Brady. They won. He lucked up and won a playoff game. Let's see what you he does what? this year. Oh, by the way, I will be bringing him up tomorrow, but you don't get to talk about it. <laughs> I'll, have we'll about that, we? I'll have my duct tape. I'll have my I'll have my duct tape. I'll have my yeah. duct tape. All I know is there's considerable pressure on Peyton Manning to win two playoff so, games for the Denver Broncos. Book it. No. That's no. How much one, yes. But not two. No, that's not true. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. All right. We're taking a break. Yeah. We are taking a break. When we come back, LeBron and D-Wade both have pressure on them for tonight's Game 5 against the Pacers.